this is so traumatizing. It is scary. You go to work, you do not know who you are teaching. You do not know what will happen even if you try to remedy a situation with a student. You don't know who may be coming for you. Even when you have your best interests at heart. You don't know who is a target. You just don't know. It is not easy going to work at Grand Jail anymore. It cannot be easy for anybody. These things can be avoided. This is too much, too much. We need some special intervention. So the voice note that you just heard is of a teacher that works at the Green Jail High School that is in West Milan. Yesterday at about 5 p.m. after some sorts of sports day, fun day, them call it. Two students, male and a female student, were in the proximity of the high school outside when some youth roll up on some sorts of yang yang blaze up some can rapid after the smoke clear the two pit them get hit up the male he was hit in the upper body he was rushed to the hospital he did not make it the female student she was hit in the hand it is said that the male student was the target of the hit so the voice notes are the adjectives that this teacher is describing everything in intricate detail as she sees it as it pertains to the situation at the school. She is letting you know that it is traumatizing, it is scary for a teacher. You don't know who you are teaching if a student, gunman, criminals in a training. You are confused. This teacher is letting you know that even when you try to remedy a situation, be some sorts of mediator, you might be interpreted as picking side and people picking side, you know what I'm saying. If you diss the other side, you might end up D-E-A-D. So she's making us know that she is echoing the sentiments of all the teachers, the dean of discipline, the principal, students, parents, all involved, that even when you have these little vagabonds, best interests at heart, you mean them well, you might be a victim of, a, of being an equal opportunity target. Random act of violence, caught in a some sort of crossfire, get blazed up in a hail of bullets. But people, we should not be surprised We've seen the writings on the wall. We've heard, we've seen the videos circulating all over social media with all sorts of F-I-G-H-T in a all combination, boy versus boy, boy versus girl, girl versus girl, girl versus boy, student versus teacher. Any and every combination that you can think about, it is happening or it has been happening, especially later. So therefore, we should not be surprised when your ears say them amp it up. So the moral of the story is that it seems as if this student, specifically the boy student, is either he was being bullied, either he is a part of some sorts of gang, and the other students that are also some part of gang put out some sorts of hit, and they caught him slipping just after a fun day, make it a done day. So people... Just imagine you as a teacher or teachers in these schools, in these volatile communities. You are overworked, you are overstressed, and you are not properly paid, you are not properly compensated. However, every day that you go to work, when you are close to the school, leaving the school, your life is at risk. You could become a victim, you could get hurt, you could get S-H-O-T and K-I-L-L-E-D. All because you're trying to train these students to be better people. Better future for themselves, people like them say. Sometimes you're sorry for Marga Dog, the same one them turn around and hurt you or bite you. Just imagine how these teachers feel. It is as if they are working in some sort of volatile community. And this is a school, some sort of penal facility, it seems. 
point blank and period. Now the next thing that is popping in the news, it is called watch the friends that you keep. Better yet, your own family, your own B-L-O-O-D can turn out to B-L-O-O-D you. That means take you away. I am speaking about two cousins. One's name is Willie. The next one name is Neil. Willie and Neil is from a country community, I won't say. Willie went to live overseas a couple of decades ago. Willie and Neil used to live at the same place in the same district. Brothers, sons of brothers, so therefore they are B-L-O-O-D, cousin. When Willie moved overseas a couple of decades ago, they would always communicate. Is either Willie come to Jamaica. When he come to Jamaica, them go all sorts of party. Since he went to the land of opportunity, America, when him come out, him sponsor everything for a couple of decades or so when they were younger. However, people turned big man. Willie have him job. Willie, they are the land of opportunity or so, they say. So therefore, he was doing okay financially. He had a good job. So therefore, him and him, him cousin Neil were still communicating. Him come to Jamaica, him buy a house. He make Neil monitor the building of the house. He make Neil monitor everything. Anything that needed to be done, Neil was the person that took care of it. Not only did Willie buy a house, build a house. He also was taking care of Neil and his children. Neil's living facility, him give Neil some money for build one piece of place for one piece of land that he had. So therefore, both of them were comfortable. Willie more comfortable because, like me say, him have more opportunity, more educated. It get to a point where Willie and Neil kind of have some sorts of conflict because of some sorts of money that was supposed to be used for something that Willie sent Neil, but it seems as if Neil was using the money for other stuff. Willie bought a car from foreign ship it come to Jamaica. Him buy a car for Neil also, a little car so Neil can get around, take care of business, take care of William's business also. Willie that is. So there was some sorts of falling out because of some sorts of accounting. Wally heap money get missing and Willie was blaming Neil because Neil was the person that was taking care of the business. So Willie cut off Neil for a little while. He have a next little youth that used to work at the house, call it says some sort of maintenance man. Maintenance man, I tell him, say, boy, I have family and I'm not really want to get between it still, but people them on the street, I say, Neil have some little bad ways. The maintenance was really talking bad, just a talk generally where people they on the street, I say. So anyways, when Willie used to come back to Jamaica, people see him and say, boy, me see your cousin and him look bad. Him look stressed out from you and him in a some sorts of conflict. Him look different. So Willie looking at him conscience and say, you know, say, we have come from way, way back. Me go give him a second chance. Me go make him redeem himself. So him link back Neil, bring back Neil to the place. I start deal with Neil, make Neil a run off things like he usually do. However, people, it seems as if when him cut off Neil, Neil a carry belly, Neil a carry feelings. As a matter of fact, when Neil come back upon the block, he pull off some sorts of town craft and get rid of the maintenance man at the house, guy must say. Me not like the boy, then my pull off all sorts of crafts so the man rob this and things get get missed from the house. Rete, lele, blue, blah, bling. Because Neil and Willie are B-L-O-O-D. Willie listened to what Neil was saying. However, Neil was plotting and scheming on Willie. 
Now, people, the information that I am getting, it is from a next family member of Willie or a family member of both. Call it that. So this family member called me and tell me, say, you know, no, say, from where there, we can't find Willie. Willie missing. And the people in the community, I say, it look like a Neil pull off some sort of thing because I'm bad mind him own cousin. As a matter of fact, Based on what person that are close to the situation are saying, it seems as if Neil get rid of the gardener, the maintenance man, because he was plotting and scheming for take away Willie. So people like me say, family member contact me and tell me where I go on. So people, the moral of the story is this. Watch the friends that you keep. Most importantly, the family that you keep. The same family that your sponsor from foreign. The, the same family where you take care of them picnic, take care of them whole bill, take care of them own being. Whenever you cut them off, justifiably so. They are planning to cut you off. So therefore, like I always say, don't start no ish. Won't be no ish. So therefore, if you're not sure about somebody and people like me say, people are great actors. People can put up a front, show you one side and then the side that is really them, their natural instinct. They don't show you until you see it when you're almost D-E-A-D. -E people, this is my disclaimer. I am not saying that all family members are the same. I am not saying that... You should cut off your family member. You should do a risk analysis and see if this person is worth helping, looking out for, or is this person a snake in the grass just waiting to strike you? Analyze, assess your situation because there are always signs. You need to see the signs. You need to not live in the state of denial even when you live in the United States of America or any other first world country, these people are different, especially when it comes to the new generation. May I talk about the people when they are in their 30s and younger? They are a different set, different breed, totally aliens, point blank and period. Now, the next thing that is popping in the news, it seems as if some of these teachers, sorry, some of these parents, some of these students think that it is a anything goes place when it comes to our educational facilities, especially these high school, traditional and non-traditional school. So it seems as if there was some sort of video circulating of two girls in the school, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, each other, in a very passionate, passionate way. Or it seems as if it was caught on video CCTV by the school. So therefore, the principal of the school decided, listen, me can't have this in my school. I am going to suspend these two students upon further review. So pretty much suspension led to termination. This happened on or about January of 2024. The parents for these two little picnic, two little girl, they might come out now and they might contact the Ministry of Education. They might contact Jamaicans for Justice. They might contact the school board and I say, it is not right. These students should not have been expelled, terminated from school. There should have been some sorts of proper protocol that was followed. Now, people, here's the thing. Even in a prison, even in a some sorts of penal institution, if them catch two men, a KISS, or even worse, a jump over each other fence, authorize, it is still against the rules and laws. So I say this to say that even had it been a boy and a girl, it would have still been against the school laws. Like I said, you have to take 
put it into context of how the video was, what were they doing, how passionate it was. Was it looking like some sort of P-O-R-N? I was not there, did not see the video. So like I said, the two opinion them get expelled, suspended, terminated. I don't know the term in which they use by the principal. The principal said, this now go go on under my watch. One of those child have since been registered to a next school. The mother of one is saying that the student is depressed. She needs counseling. She needs therapy. Rete, lele. The teacher or the principal should have let the school year finish and then they make some sorts of decision. Now people should be told according to the school board. One person cannot make any sorts of decision determination. It needs a school board to make it legitimate. But the truth and the fact is that the final decision or the man with the power is probably the principal or so he thought. Did he overstep his boundaries? Now what is very disturbing about this whole thing is that one of the parents of one of those little picnic girls she said that her daughter told her, No, mommy, I am not G-A-Y. I was just experimenting. Now, people, experimenting in my eyes is when you have two soda, you have Pepsi or you have C-O-K-E, and then you drink and you say, You know, so that one you're harsher. You know, so that one you're more refreshing. And then you come to some sort of conclusion. Where is it that two man? I go buck up, end up a fling seed for each other, end up a suck out each other tongue and then talk about them are just experiment. That would make you G-A-Y, should in case you didn't know. However, we know that we live in a some sorts of F-R-E-A-K-Y society. So therefore, me don't have the terms and whatever change, you let me know in the comment section. People at the end of the day, there's a reason why you have rules and regulation. Those rules and regulations should apply. So therefore, if the rules and regulation is that if a man or a boy and a girl caught at a certain act, it is grounds for suspension, grounds for termination. People like me say, it must have been very, very bad. It must have been more than one occasion. Maybe this child was warned before. Maybe this child have a habit or these like a pitney have a habit in doing stuff like this on a daily basis. And the, the principal thought that it was corrupting the school. People like me say, me just I tell you where I go on. Let me know in the comment section. Do you think that this principal was right? Do you think that this principal was standing for the rights of the Bible or do you think that he was overstepping his boundary and making a decision by himself? He was not following the protocol as in the school board, as in the Ministry of Education making a final determination. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So anyways, people, thanks once again for checking out my video. If you appreciate videos like this, please show your appreciation by liking, commenting, sharing and subscribing to my channel. That is how YouTube promotes videos like these to like-minded, sensible persons like yourself. And last but not least, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source. I'll be pinning the link to that channel in the description of this video. Bless up.